We're going to do a workout today okay. combined with, with compact select stimulation. We take a program which is related to the muscle type work. Uh, we call that resistance. And the interesting thing is the resistance program that it takes seven seconds of contraction. So you have a lot of time in the seven seconds to finish your movement. Beautiful. You can concentrate and with the complex, I will take care of the security uh, of the muscle contraction and you're gonna feel it's gonna be very funny to work against those muscles. Okay, you ready for it? I'm ready, let's do it. Okay, so, gonna find the program. Switch it on. <clears throat> and if you can see that we go into the muscle building and when we enter in this category, you see we have the resistance program where we start. We have to switch on the two units, the modules who are on your back. Once they're switched on, we directly go to the contractions and I give you the first contraction and you feel, and you can feel that your shoulders are opening up. Tell me what you feel. I feel my like shoulders pulling back, come into the active position. 150, I'm bringing up to the 200 intensity. Is that okay? Beautiful. Good, so now we get to the rest. And I want you really to feel that the rest is, you can feel that it's shaking, giving circulation, and it helps all your metabolic ways to get out. So we have the contraction, and between the contractions, this active recovery part. Okay, now you can go, and we go for the movement. Okay, I help you. Three, two, one, and go for it. And push. Perfect. And back. And again. And we get at the end of our seven seconds. Perfect. Now you can feel we are in the rest period. So you can decide. I don't do nothing, but you can also decide in my rest period. I do my series without help compacts. And there we are. Go. Perfect. I bring you up to 250. And that's perfect. We have the seven seconds rest. Do you want to go from the top now? Uh, yeah, let's go from the top. Bring it up the top. <clears throat> okay, ready. And now we start on an intensity of 200. Ready? There we go. Perfect. Eccentric. And back. That's very good. And do it again. And back. Perfect. And we go in rest. And we have one more series from the top. Uh, we bring you up to 300. Now we are in rest. And there we go. And down and up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. To 60, to 70, to 80. And you can feel you can't work against it anymore. Right. Wow, wow. Bravo. Beautiful. Very good, very good. So now we had six cycles. Mm -hmm. So as a basic training, I propose that you do 10 cycles, which is giving you a 70 seconds. That means one minute, 10 workout on a very high intense level. When you start, use a little bit less weight with those who are not experienced like you are, uh, but you can feel that how surprising it is that you can get it uh, up to the top, which you normally do yeah, very absolutely. easily. Huh? Yeah. So can you give us a, a little idea now without any leg simulation, how it feels now? Yeah, absolutely. 95 pounds, not too bad. <coughs> no stand. Perfect. So does it feel different? Absolutely, it feels completely different. It feels significantly lighter, but also with it feeling lighter, I'm able to manipulate those positions in, into a bad position if I wanted to, where the, the complex is able to keep me in a real tight, basically a, a perfect mechanic position. So for you as a coach, I want you to look at the safety part of the exercise. Mm -hmm. You think this is advisable for the participants? Yeah, sir, I think it's advisable mainly in, in the point where if it gets too heavy a lot of times, athletes will manipulate their position into an okay. unsafe position in order just to finish the repetition. Okay. For this, even though I had a hard time while the stim was on pressing up and maintain a good tight position the good, entire time, good. I wasn't able to, main, to manipulate the position into something unsafe. Very good. Anyways. We go to the next. Let's do it. So, all these movements are from shoulder to overhead. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be? Is it going to be any different if we do a push press, where I get to use my hips now, or a push jerk where I get to use a redip? Well, what's interesting, I always work in a muscle chain. And I take those muscle in the muscle chain who are the most important yep. or the most weak. Okay. So in every, everything what you do here, I yep. can also take your abdominals. Sure. But for me, it's more 
the upper back muscles because they control everything yeah. which is opening up. So if we do a push press now, dip, yep. drive press. Yeah, exactly the same. We're just going to exactly same, same, same position? Exactly. It's yeah. lats and it's uh, trapezius. So do you want to do, so if that was the, the primary, do you want to do the secondary on the push press and the tertiary on the push yep. jerk? Let's yep. do that. Yep. That way he gets has some different shots. Yeah. Sweet. So where the, the secondary would be what then? You, you just test it out now how it is. Then we do the leg stimulation with it and you do it without. Okay. Okay. So Sweet. do it now. Just do the movement. Just feel. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yep. So ready? Yep. Now I bring you back to the 250. Okay. Okay. okay go. That's the 250. That's your work. That's perfect. That's perfect. And now it's the rest. Do it in the rest as well. It's interesting to see the difference. In the rest period, good. So, okay. And now we get, and now we are in a contraction. Okay, come on, go. Wow, that's good. You feel the stability in your shoulder, how it's pulling? Okay, now you're in rest, and you do two in rest. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now we combine. Three, two, one, start. Perfect. And we keep on the 200 because that's enough for you. So for the quadriceps, yep. um, so you see the fastest medialis, fastest lateralis. Yep. So we can work on four channels, but Love we can it. do it easy. We can do it, say, okay, I go in between your fastest medialis, lateralis, with one, on the other side, here and here. So I put the electrode in between the two motor points. So that means we are very simple in our setup, okay. and we only need two channels ah, set up. Ah, nice, I like it. And that means that you have less preparation. Saves time. And time it's going to be very easy. <clears throat> Just to tell you, we have the electrodes with a single snap. And normally you do this with yeah, an electrode with a single snap. Yeah. Okay? Flexion. Flexion. So I'll go from 40, 50. Flexion. Come on, go in flexion. You're going to go down all the way down? I'm 100. Okay, that's good. Good, huh? So okay, I want to have nice twitches. That's very important. Okay? Three, two, one, go. Perfect. Perfect. And now I bring you up to 150. Come on, work, work. That's 150. Okay, work, work, work. Go to 200. Okay, work. 180, 190, 200. Okay. Okay. How does Woo. that feel? This is great, huh? <laughs> Three, two, one. Go. Okay. Go. And you can easily go to deep squat now because I protect you. Go to deep squat. That's it. You feel how easy it is? Yeah, really easy. Because when you, why, why is it so easy when you hit all the way down? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I bring you to 200. Tough. So tap down. Down, 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 down. Go down, go down. Really down. I'm going to. That's it. Perfect. You see how easy? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to work on 300, okay? What was that just there? Yeah, oh, okay. it goes to 999. That was beautiful. So 300 is okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, go. Pull, pull your hammies. Come on, pull your hammies. Come on. And I switch it off. Woo. What's the hell with your hammies? <laughs> so now you understand why I say always start, start in inflection. Yeah. Because you can't get through it. Right? Really? And that's interesting because now you see that you have so to do work active with the hamstring. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So now, from a training perspective, mm -hmm. right, we want to take that joint through the full range of motion at all times. Yep. So we start full yep. extension, yep. full no. flexion, right? No, you don't need. You can do that at the end, one or two, with when you get used to it. On? No, in the, in the break. Now okay. You have your, your contractions. Yep. It's very important that you keep into, uh, let's say, an acceptable comfort zone. And if you go in the hyperextension, you, you can't get there anymore. So if you get the break, the active, then you go in your full range of motion. Range of motion. Okay, so we cool. keep the full range of motion out of the very strong contractions. Got it. Huh? So got again, it. we have a, a safety factor. Yeah, and just so yeah, and just m more so for for the people at home. So just so we reiterate, it's still very important to go through a full range of motion. Oh, absolutely. However, with the convex on in the high resistance, we we don't do that just because we don't want to be stuck up into the full. And full it extension. gives a cramp feeling, which right. is a matter of comfort. Yes, absolutely. Huh? Got it. Cool. Ready? So we go again. Three, two, one. Start. 
uh, I bring you up to the 300. Okay, we are 220. Just telling, if you switch the unit off, it also goes back with 10% on the intensity. That's the safety. Now we're on 300 exactly. Very good, very good, very good. Is it intensive? Yes. Can you take a little bar? In the squat? Yeah. At 300? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Perfect, so take a little bar. Yeah. Okay. I was telling you, you can do that with just 10 kilos. Huh? Oh yeah, absolutely. So three, two, one, go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's very nice. That's very nice. Okay. Okay. And now, just drop the bar. And just take the bar without weights. One. So I want you in the squat, go back and go up on one leg and down. Okay? Yep. So you go down in eccentric, yep. then you go to one leg and you go up. Okay? That's Thank it, that's what you do. Yep. That's perfect, perfect. And you can start, with you we start with, but you can start without weight. Sure, absolutely. And just help them. But for you it's more fun now to having this little weight. Ready? There we go. I bring you to the 200, to the 300 directly. Okay? You're on 250 now. Okay? And I bring you up to the 300. And you can see that because of the high intensity, it's easy to go back with the little load. Huh? Mm -hmm. So I want you to do one, two in seven seconds. So three, two, one, top. Okay, down, up one leg, and up, and back on one leg, and up. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Can you do the whole workout on one leg? Please. Can you try to go uh, one leg and uh, go back? Yeah? <coughs> you want me yeah. to hold you? No, no. We, we okay. Hold well, on, let me try without, without yeah. that on first. Yeah, okay. Just try without. Okay, cool. Are you going to see it's so more difficult without? So I can do... Yeah, go down. Here. And up. Is that low okay. enough? And now, no, it's off. Wait, is it low enough? Yeah, 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 yeah. You could do... It. I don't need to go that low because don't forget we are here working also on coordination. Now we get into the contraction and now try it, try it, try it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is strange, eh? Yeah. Good. Really good. And now go to the other leg. So okay. and in the break, you can try so in the break. Oh, you have to okay. seven seconds, huh? And it's three, two, one, start. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. And go up. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. And again. Okay. Okay, perfect. <sighs> Huh? And you can make it more easy. You can say, okay, I stay forward, or you sure. can just hold just a little bit. Like yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Perfect. And three, two, one, go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's very good. Very good. And very good. Okay. Is 300 enough for you? So, yeah, quite. I think so. <laughs> so, we d still do one, <coughs> okay. the last one. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you will have so many domes. Okay? And combine the two, and up, and down, and up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, that's it. Woo. Now we have a 70 seconds workout. One minute, ten mi uh, and ten seconds. Okay. How does it feel? It's, t it's terrible. Stretch a little bit. It's terrible. You feel it? Oh, absolutely. I feel a lot. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Very tight. <coughs> so you can see with that we have the possibility to do a full quad workout, respecting the technique with a little weight. Right. But even if you're an injury, a shoulder injury, you cannot have your weight, you still can work very efficient your quads. Absolutely. And it's not just keeping them on level, you can make them stronger. Absolutely. This is, and you will feel, you'll feel you will have domes in the next three days you never have, never ever felt. Wow. Looking forward to it. Exactly. Good. Well done. Very Thank good. Very much, yeah. One over there. One over the top. Yep. Okay, over the top. A little bit of flexion. There we go. Directly to 250. Oh yeah. Look at your look at your legs. What's happening? Oh yeah. See, you see the exhortation? Yep, absolutely. Isn't that great? It forces you into that proper position again with the external oh, rotation. But th that's what women very often can't do. That's why when they do, they, they go there. Coming forward all the time. Huh? So it's so difficult to have glutes and hamstring at mm -hmm. the same time, in, especially when you do your squats out of your forefoot, yeah. what a lot of people do. Oh, yeah, sure. That means that you have automatically. 
Now, even with these errors, you automatically have the right position. Okay? Yep. So now I bring you to 300, because here we can easily, we are 170 now. I go a little bit deeper. Do eccentric, 250, 260, 270, 280, and there we hit the 300, good. That's gonna be good. It's great, yeah? That's gonna be good. Just, uh, sometimes push it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, Let's ready? Yeah? And I bring you from 250 to 300. Come on, work. That's good, that's good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Really. How does it feel? You feel stability? So a lot of stability, a lot of tension. You really force you to use your Very glutes, good. your hamstrings as well. Very. Okay, go. There we go. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. And up. Perfect. And pause. You feel when the protection feels away, the difference? You feel it? Absolutely. And there we have the contraction, go. Perfect, that's very nice. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay. And you can a little bit adapt the movement when you pull down. You can go down a little bit, up, just for extra okay. glute training. Great. Okay, so there we go. That's it, up and go. And down, and now, down, down, down. You feel the difference? Big time. Very good, very good. Now you have eccentric work of the glutes. So for the technique, it's not necessary, but yes. for the glutes, it's nice where you just so you put a little bit eccentric work. Yeah. And there we go. And we're gonna hit the 350. Okay, 330, 240, 350. That's perfect, perfect. Okay, so we, next we hit the 400. 400. On the glutes, we can go to the 400. Just check if they're still nicely stuck. Okay, well done. And there we go. And we are 360. We go to 370, 380, 390, 400. Good. Come on, tell us. Tell us how does it feel? It's tight. Tight. It's on. It's you on. really feel? You feel that your your knees are really. A lot of external rotation okay. going on. It's beautiful. And there we go. Last contraction. There we go. Last series. And there we go. And. Very good, very good. Okay, now I want you to do one without weights. Okay. Okay, so take the position. <coughs> okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, and now pull down your buttocks. Pull them down, pull them, that's, that's very good. Okay, okay. Still one more, just to let you feel the movement. Three, two, one, go. And that's perfect, perfect. And go down, okay, that's perfect. And you can see that your knees really get extra rotated. Yeah, that's absolutely. really very good. Okay, Woo. that's it. Beautiful, love it. <laughs> that was great, really good. Um, it's really playing. Sure, what about pulling from the ground as far as Olympic lifts, snatch, yeah. clean? Well, in, in that case, what I, for me, the shoulders are very, are very important, especially okay. when you the heavy weight. Learn, yeah. and that's what we did in the beginning. Those two electrodes mm -hmm. for the rotator cuff. Okay. They really work on rotator cuff, yep. which here we didn't do, but we sure. did before. Absolutely. So that's one and a part of the rectus spinae. So the exercise of the two electrodes to the lats and the trapezius. Okay. I very nearly never work on low back. Okay. Why? Okay. Because low back is abdominals. So for me, the whole low back structure is the abdominal activity. That, because the abdominals, it's got a retroversion of the hips, and that is what's protecting my low back. Okay, excellent. So, and then what about, what would you do? Would you put it on the hamstrings as well for a movement like the deadlift? Uh, hamstrings are so sensitive. And yeah. the difficulty in the hamstring is that you get very, all the time you get that shortened in the movement. Got it. And shortening means? Contraction. Cramp. Cramp, okay. Yeah. So if you do the contraction and you work on the, on the, on the hamstring at the same time, it's, it's very often cramp and in cramp on hamstring, you know, it's very uncomfortable. Very so yeah. I prefer to work very high intensity on, on the quad, okay. which means that you have to counter co attack with the hamstrings to get the flexion done. Got it, that makes sense. So sometimes work without weights, mm -hmm. it's very interesting in developing the hamstrings. Okay, awesome, very cool. And then what about, because uh, you know, the power from the hip, the hip flexion, or, or sorry, sorry, hip extension is so damn important. What do you do for there? Do you, do you work? Elopsoas? 
okay. uh, it's very difficult because mm -hmm. it's a very deep muscle. Yeah. Uh, in very thin athletes, mm -hmm. um, you can reach the iliopsoas, but in principle, it is not the main muscle I use in, in hip flexor. Uh, and in the hip extensors, the glute is what we did before, yep. uh, it, it's a fantastic work. And we know that in the hip flexor, the quadriceps, one of the, or the hats, the quadriceps is a part. Um, it's what we easily can work with, with complex. Work with hip flexor then, yeah. that extension. Yeah, but it. hip psoas, very difficult, it's a very deep muscle. Okay, got it, I love it, that's excellent. That's all really good information. <laughs> but you, you Thanks did so very much. well, you did very well. Good. Bravo, bravo. Good, Thanks. Okay, so what, do you have a complex at home? Yeah. So do, do, some, one, do, do, do some recovery. Yeah, for sure. So tonight when you're in bed, or just do yeah. it, especially on your quads. For your glutes, I don't think so, because you have very good glutes, and we okay. didn't do a lot of eccentric sure. on, your, on your quads. We did a very big eccentric yeah. work. Absolutely. And that's, for me, uh, the golden rule is, one, always work in the muscle chain. Okay. So take out, and I call that complex combined muscle training, sure. CCMT. So for me, complex combined muscle training is the basics of a good combined workout. Okay. So the static workout, like we did in the past, yes. which is proven very efficient, uh, it's less fun, in certain way you cannot, but a CCMT workout for me uh, is the future, especially in CrossFit, sure, and uh, with people like you, coaches, who have a good coaching background, you can easily put that into practice. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. Okay, and then I then always recommend once they do the resistance, the loaded resistance, make sure they get their, their work done on the recovery settings on those as well. Oh yeah, of course. Sure. And if they don't, they will ask you two days later. Yes. <laughs> yeah? And for me, this kind of work I very often uh, do before the workout. Okay, good. And just let them play a little bit. Right. With just little weights, Got coordination. It. Huh? You don't need to go to heavy weights. Don't forget you're very tired. Yep. If you start to do heavy weights now, you have the risk sure. of uh, a lack of coordination. Absolutely. But the pre-fatigue, mm -hmm. especially for competition athletes, yep. it's very important because it helps them to really work the coordination. Okay. And we know that, especially in the competitions where, uh, where are the most injuries? Never in the beginning. Got it. Always at the Always end. The right. So you, you, can, you can work on that in, as a training factor. You can say, okay, I do the pre-fatigue. You increase the risk, but because you're in a training uh, setting, you can push them to keep concentrated because they're not tired. Right. Their brain, they didn't do anything. The muscles because the legs are. Sure. So that's a very important Beautiful. factor. Easy. Good. Love Take it. your electrodes off. Yeah.